수요관광부와 구글은 지난 2011년 문화비 콘텐츠 산업 육성을 위한 업무 협박서를 체결한 이후로 다양한 협력 사업을 추진해 왔습니다. 그동안 이런 어떤 협력을 바탕으로 해서 앞으로 양 기관 간의 협력을 더욱 확대시켜 나갈 생각입니다. 고유의 문자인 한글의 가치를 확산시키기 위해서 상호 협력하고자 합니다. 어, 구글에서 이를 위해서 그 국립 이곳 국립 한글 박물관 체험 콘텐츠 지원을 하기로 하였습니다. In conclusion, I just want to say that today we have over 10,000 total assets that have come on these projects about Korean culture, film, art, Hanbok, Hanok. It's a really comprehensive and deep understanding of Korean culture. Thank you very much. We Google the attitude of the United States. We are 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 the 시작이고 앞으로 이 작업을 통해서 더욱 많은 발전이 있을 수 있기를 기대합니다. 여러분 많이 지켜봐 주시고 많이 충고해 주시면 감사하겠습니다. 감사합니다. So thank you very much, Minister. The mission that led to devise the Hangul characters clearly has not stopped. Just as King Seong wanted Koreans to be able to understand each other more easily. We want, to, we want the world to understand Korea more easily through all sorts of mechanisms. We already, for example, have Google Translate. With, and if we could translate everything perfectly, it still doesn't mean that humanity should stop learning each other languages. Languages matter a lot. And the reason we're making this grant to the National Hangul Museum um, is to promote the understanding of this to construct a special section of the museum dedicated to educating children on the history and science behind Hangul, um, and to create a physical space in the museum, a virtual space online, something you know, in the digital world, to help visitors to Korea and the people around the world who didn't know about it, right, who were interested in it, um, to learn one of the most intuitive alphabets in the world, right? Something which looks and sounds as you speak it. Pretty impressive. You know, it's interesting that an alphabet system is both more and less than a language. The language that the king spoke is very different from the one that you all speak today, and yet the characters, the alphabet, has remained. And it's surely core to Korean culture forever, I think. This is why we think that, that this museum furthers a goal that both Google and the Ministry of Culture agreed to pursue a few years ago, to share Korea's rich culture out to the world. Right, in a really, really nice way. You know, a lot has happened since we started this. Uh, I didn't even know when I started how important K-pop was. Today, K-pop is everywhere. And even I had to learn how to dance Gangnam style. <laughs> People are certainly watching Korean classic you know, films on YouTube, and they're doing it globally. And the cultural legacies from the Museum of Korea are online for you and everyone in the world to see it as part of the Google Art Project, of which we are particularly proud. So we'll be adding some great new content in, on traditional dress, traditional architecture, and the Korean film, of course, to the Cultural Institute as well. The Korean culture spans 5,000 years, 6,000 years, a long, long time. Google is very old. Google is 15 years old. <laughs> So, as a respectful but ambitious teenager, it's a pleasure for me to learn from both the, the richness of Korea's culture, but also to help share it with the rest of the world uh, in ways that were just not possible when I was there. I could not be more proud of this kind of a partnership with the country of Korea. Anyone who cares about Korea and Korean culture is going to learn it the best and most direct way through this country's largest and easiest museum to visit, the internet with your content on it. Thank you so much, Mr. Minister.